It's time for another episode of Coach Ryan's Corner. I'm Ryan Hall. In today's video, we're going to start by taking a look at something that has really kind of plagued this video. Technical problems brought on by this. The first time I shot and edited this video, I deleted it before I had a chance to upload it. The second time I tried this, the microphone on my camera, the battery was dead. So we're trying this one more time, so I think I've got everything straightened out. But it leads me perfectly into what I wanted to talk about today. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the concept of forgiveness. On the weekend of April 21st, I participated in the Landmark Forum. Now, Landmark is a self-development and self-expression uh, training organization, and I really got a ton out of this experience. But one of the biggest things I got out of this experience was this. For those who may not know the story, Dad passed away at the end of 2014. Primarily his death was brought on by neglecting his well-being. I've held on to a lot of resentment. Really a lot of resentment towards both my parents because they both passed away by similar circumstances. Neglect of their well-being, just really abuse of their well-being. I have let that resentment paint my entire life. During this forum, one of our exercises was to write a letter. Practice letter, you didn't send it, but a letter to somebody you may have been being inauthentic with or maybe holding something on. Now, I had intended on writing this letter on the train from Port Chester into New York City on Sunday morning, but I missed my train. So I chose to improvise a letter when it came time to share our letters with people in the group. I said the words during this improvised letter, words that I have said before, but I have never truly meant them. And those words were this, Dad, I forgive you. And, and by the way, when I say I said it, it wasn't so much said, but choked out between violent sobs. Saying those words and experiencing those words opened me in so many ways. It opened my heart wide open. I felt like the elephant that had been sitting on my chest had moved. I felt alive. I felt connected with myself. I felt free for the first time in a long time. And there was even an interesting little wink and a nod of gratitude from my dad. As I have mentioned in this video series before, my dad's musical hero was Donald Fagan, the founder of Steely Dan. Donald Fagan doesn't like to tour, and he never tours solo until the summer. Last Monday, he announced that he was going to be going on a brief solo tour this summer and playing material from his solo albums. The first date of that tour is going to be at the Capitol Theater in Port Chester, New York, 10 minutes by foot from my back door. I firmly believe that was a little wink and a nod from my dad telling me, thank you, son. Thank you for letting that go. Here's your gift. The point of this video is this. Forgiveness is not about forgiving the person that does you wrong. Because let's face it, people are going to do you wrong. People are going to do you dirty. It's not about forgiving them for the act. It's about how you relate to yourself coming out of that. That has been one of the biggest breakthroughs of my life. 